For this video, I combined Tetris and Scrabble. Wow, that is like totally cool. In normal Tetris, tiles will clear when you form a full row. But in my Scrabble Tetris, tiles have letters on them, and they'll only clear if you create a four-letter word. Wow, that is like totally- Shut up! I started coding this game in a five-hour live stream. It flips based on the sign, because in the game, if you press right, it would still move to the left. Let's see now. There we go. There- oh, error, error, error. And my game dev YouTuber friend Polymars joined for history's first ever 1v1 Scrabble Tetris competition. I think I should try to make this game easier somehow, but I'm not- Gary? Oh, hello? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh my god. Yo. Wait, stream yours. I've been yours. watching. You've been streaming for so long. Yeah, I've been streaming. Like, I literally took a nap. But yeah, Polymars is here. Crossover. Yeah. Whoa, What's wait. up? Go. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, okay. oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. I I have a, a hard starting piece. Road. Road. Oh my god. Oh my god. You already got one. <laughs> wait. I'm a pro. Once you lose, and then no, you no, no, no. Um, Oh, what am I doing? Offense? Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, then I, I- Wait, it's- it's thinking it might be over for me. As you can see, it's also got local multiplayer. I don't know why you try to battle me, Orange Carry. I will always win. You get one point for every tile you destroy. My goal in Scrabble Tetris is to get a score of 700 or higher. Do you think I can reach that near impossible threshold? Keep watching to find out, but first, let's watch this Scrabble Tetris clip, which is gonna show me battling against my next opponent after Polymars, TTGuy10,000. You want to do YouTuber? If you create a word that's five letters or longer, then it gets sent to the other person's board. And then the last thing is, the game gets faster as you get more points. But when it's multiplayer, like when you get points, the other person's board speeds up. Like Donna, Donna, Ooh, yeah, you're Donna, right. Donna, 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 Donna. That's true. Hold. Well, you can. This is cool. Thank you. You can play next. Well, Dandam Minifig, I'm glad you asked, because there actually already is a variation of Tetris where you combine letters to form words, called Wordtris, which was created by Sergei Utkin and friends back in 1992. 1992. Uh, tort. Okay. Tort. Well, clear board. Tort. Clear board. Now, you might wonder why me creating the word tort, aka illegal wrongdoing where you're, like, liable, cleared my board, since there were other tiles on the board at that time. Where'd they go? Well, upon playtesting, I experimented with two game modes that ended up being about equal difficulty, having three letter words clear, and having four letter words clear, but also explode any neighboring tiles. Which makes sense, because creating a four letter word is rarer, so they should reward bigger prizes. But in the three letter word game mode, I'd often incidentally create three letter words without trying, some of which don't even look like real words, but they're in the Scrabble Dictionary, so they count, I guess. T-U-I Okay, that's a one. E-T-S E-T-S Hi E-J-O Okay. It almost felt like I was playing normal Tetris, but with a lottery, where 50% of the time, by chance, tiles went away. On the other hand, the explosive four-letter game mode made it so that I had to be more intentional with constructing words, since they wouldn't just fall in my lap. And that's what happened with Tort. I planned to create Tort, and it blew up all the neighboring tiles. With bigger strategies and bigger payoff, explosive four mode has my stamp of approval as the game mode to play with. But with that being said, who won this Scrabble Tetris tournament between me and TT Guy 10,000? Keep watching to find out. I'm gonna do inter. That's a word. Inters. What? Oh, oh yeah. you put something there. Oh, did it actually ruin it? Yes. Oh yeah. See this? No, but it's oh, a... but you can't. Oh, talk to Torrens. A is horn. Yeah. S from here makes S E A. No, that was a terrible thing to put there. And the next one makes seat. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. And, and then. Clear! You can't do it. Oh, no, you can't. You wouldn't be able to put it. Oh, heed! Oh, heed. Okay, T E E T is that a word? I guess not. Just wait, just a Yeti. Oh, please! It accepts it. I mean, if you get an E, you can do Dames. Say, ooh, you're gonna get an E next time. Uh oh. Save for Dames. Yeah, yeah, it's five letters. Games? Yeah! <laughs> oh, I can do games. I'll send it back to you. Games. Oh, yeah. man, that's so cool! Future Carry here. I'm editing in those blinking arrows after the fact. They don't show up during the original gameplay. Okay, I, I don't choose. C H O O S. So you're going. Oh, you're getting E in there here. Yeah. Joseph. Wait, no, no, did you see the five titles? 
taints like. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, like, wow, this is <laughs> okay, here, okay, my E's coming, my E's coming. So now I'm just gonna. Do you see C H O? Wait, I. Seven letter word. Is that gonna actually work? This is some other word. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, no. This is great. Oh, there's a T. T. Where can I? Yes, no, no! Oh, oh, it's oh. still a word. Whoops. Oh, I... Uh, no. uh, whoops, I... <laughs> Homo! It's not over till it's over. Yeah, it's not over till it's over. Uh, it's no, I... No, I actually don't know these words, uh, like... These squares are like throwing me a uh oh. Well, in in what is it? bias, bias. Did, did you know what bias? <laughs> Somewhere where it's out of the way. Ode. Ode. No. Wait, I, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm going node. Node. Go for node. Uh, node. No. No. Oh, rank. It was, it was a cascade. Did we get yeah. a cascade? Because like I I added cascades like yesterday. I wasn't sure if they work. In really high level competitive Scrabble, like it's very common for people to play words that aren't really words. But and the then the person is too nervous to challenge. Uh, Larry. Oh, what? Larry? Oh, oh, what? Larry? Whoa. Whoa. oh no. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. The game's still going. The game's still going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh. You might be curious what happened there. TT Guy created a five letter word, Lari, which is the currency of Georgia. But then I got more points than him? How did that happen? Well, notice these four tiles on my board, spelling Marl, an earthy deposit containing lime, clay, and sand. They're not in a row yet. But since Lari was five letters, it got sent to my board shifting Marl into place, so I got points for it. Also, the L and A from Lari connected with my R-E-A and L-U-M from before to make real, a very common word, and Luma, the subunit of currency in Armenia. So in total, TT Guy's attack gave him one word and 16 points, but gave me three words and 21 points. But I want to clarify that this isn't normal. Typically when you create a five letter word, your opponent doesn't get as lucky as I did, so you should still try to create five letter words. Anyway, on with the game. The game's still going, the game's still going. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, wait, let me move that cursor uh, away. So you sent me a word? Uh, apparently. Wait, I, oh, uh, Larry, I, I think some, Larry, yeah. something clear. Lace, lace. Oh my god, wait. I can't believe you're surviving. Oh my god. Wait, that sounds like an insult. Let's just, let's just put. Oh! I'm, oh, I'm, I'm not fast. I'm, ju yeah. I'm just so good at this game. Oh no! Wait, we're both oh, yes. going pretty fast. Let's see. Uh, Dance? Do you think it's ease? Wait, can I put that down? Wow! It was at this moment that the student overtook the teacher. <laughs> I just put like five tiles away. What? The chance? No, Yant. Oh my god, I lost the A and T. Like, lots of, like A and T is like one of the best endings. Ha do you think H O N D is the word? Okay, you're not. Oh, oh it's not. Wait, no. Oh my god, Mark. But I'm just looking so bad. Well, I, I have like two like pillars. <laughs> Wait, I'm actually. Getting... Oh, if I get an S. I'm getting nervous. I can do chess. Okay, a waft. Oh, seven. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! yes. Oh, oh my god. god, oh my god, wait, now mine looks worse. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh... <laughs> I, want, I want vowels in there. I like how much luck is involved. I know, it's a lot of luck. I feel like there's also a decent amount of plan- Oh, I have an X. Why are you giving me X? Uh, yeah. Uh. Uh oh. This is getting fast. Come down. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Wait. Uh, doze. D O S. Uh, D O E S. I. I. I'm not. Oh, no. Saying... <laughs> I don't know why. I don't react. I don't react. Okay. Yeah. This is... oh, no. I just need like yes. Ice. Uh, oh, no. Ice. This is not. Look... It's over. Wait, it's, over. it's over. It's oh. over. <laughs> it was a close battle, and for a second there, I was gonna lose. <laughs> Who loses and wins is based on length of survival. Yes, not survival, not the score. But... Right, yeah. Next. Great match, TT guy. You put up a good fight that was kind of biased in my favor because I'm the guy who created the game and spent a week playtesting it. So nice job. Anyway, after that 1v1 match, I added this shiny new feature that reads aloud the words as you create them using a randomly selected text-to-speech voice. Main. User. Side. Lane. Horn. Which was both a good thing and a bad thing. Toes.
But remember that goal I mentioned at the beginning? Did I ever achieve that tantalizing milestone of a score of 700 or higher? Well, all the way back in the primordial era, my record was 538, which I got on May 9th. Four days later, I narrowly beat it out with a 545, which ended prematurely because I thought Hesh was a word. Hesh. Oh my god, no. So much better. That score stood for four days as well, until May 17th, when I got this miraculous run. Okay, the first 400 points are boring as they always are, so I'm gonna skip ahead. At around 100 points, my stack reached 8 tiles tall, which is nearly half of the total board height. That's not good. I managed to destroy it by creating a vertical 5-letter word, trade, in the center of the tower. But quickly after that, I blundered and produced a floating S. Floating S's aren't that bad because you can just put a 3-letter word on top of them, like PATS, or in this case O-P-E-S, and they will self-destruct. Next, at the low 200s, I found myself with way too many E's, but I solved that problem with the word TEEN, and I was never really that worried anyway, because the word template that goes blank E-E -E blank is really versatile. By the way, if you're curious why my Scrabble Tetris has 1, 2, and 3 tile pieces, but Tetris only has 4, it's because forming words is way too hard without the smaller pieces. Be grateful! Something big about to happen. When I saw that I could put the tiles NT right before ED, I knew there was potential for a really long word, since so many verbs end with NT. Wanted, dented, punted. Well, the very next piece just happened to have TI, so the six letter word tinted became the longest word I formed this game. In my queue, there's this piece that says LGN, which doesn't appear in many words, but backwards that's NGL, aka a not gonna lie formation, which shows up at the end of a ton of words like tingle, dongle, and bungle. I wanted to make the word single another six letter word, but I wasn't seeing any eyes, so I had to settle with angle. By the way, letters show up based on the frequency they appear in the English language, so E, the most common letter, will be randomly selected 12% of the time, whereas Z, the least common letter, will only be randomly selected 0.07% of the time. Next, I want you to notice this interestingly placed W. If we could just use it in a word, the three tiles to the left, SIA, would all be destroyed, completely clearing up our lower left corner. And not much later, I found myself with the letters W, I, D. So so I'm aiming for an E to make the word wide. And look, there's this piece coming up. It has three tiles, and one of them is the E I need. But, ugh, just my luck. With this M tile on the bottom, and the way the E is positioned, there's actually no way to form the word wide. But no worries, I'll just hold that piece and use the E from the next tetramino. Problem solved. Wide created. And all but one tile of the board cleared. Oh my god. You can hear I'm a bit shocked because I'm at 505 points, over 90% of the way to my personal record, with essentially a clear board, so I knew this game had a good shot to break my PR by a landslide. Here's a blender, why didn't I just create the word user? Muse. Okay, creating the word muse was a pretty good recovery. Look at this, it's Kurt spelled backward. So wherever I place it, it'll explode. That was actually one of the worst choices I could have made. The best? Well, if you know a word will explode, just put it next to pre-existing tiles to blow them up too. The second best? Hmm, Kurt backwards is truck E. Truce. Connect truck with the E's below to make a fiver, and blow up two other tiles while you're at it. But I put it way on the left because I'm dumb. Kurt. Now I have this blank E-E-R ending I want to fill up. I'd say it's mid-level useful, since we could make beer, deer, jeer, leer, peer, seer, veer, and weer, which is 21%. All I have coming up on the queue, though, are vowels and R's, and R-E-E-R is not a word, so I'll just hold it for later. But now I also have this blank O-N-E ending, and that one is even more useful, at 45% of letters making valid words. It's funny that some of them, like cone, done, and gone, don't even rhyme. Because O-N-E is better than E-E-R, I started focusing entirely on O-N-E and ignored E-E-R. So when this N-R-L piece came down, I realized I could make loan or none. But now you see the problem. I'm left with a forgotten E-E-R, and my next piece's available consonants are T and N, neither of which will combine with E-E-R. I thought maybe T-E-E-R was some obscure word? 
but it wasn't. Moral of the story, don't ignore pieces even if they're less useful. If I hadn't, I could have built Leer and Tone and cleared everything. At this point, I've scored 546 points. Okay, now 559, which means I've already beaten my previous record. One strategy I use when the game is faster and I don't have time to think is to put any consonant on top of an E. Like here, D-E. So many English words go consonant, vowel, consonant, E, that you're bound to get lucky, like Tide, which is spelled T-I-D-E. Okay, next, I was trying to build a blank U-T-E word on the left side, but it didn't really work out because I was hoping root was a word, and it is, just not spelled that way. And then I was hoping fruit was a word, and it is, but also not spelled that way. Also, I always wince when I place a V on the bottom row, because very few words Wait. end with V. In fact, did you know there are no two-letter Scrabble words that have a C or V in them? Knowing the duplicity of the world, they must have something against copy-paste. Now that I'm getting close to 600 points, I'm reverting back to normal Tetris mode. Where I'm not looking at letters, I'm just trying to make the pieces tessellate well. That's not good, but sometimes you still get lucky with random words like Denny, spelled D-E-N-I. I've been holding onto this EA domino for a while, one of the most common word middles. So let me plop it on top of this N, so now it's blank E-A-N. What should nice. go on top? S won't work, N won't work, and R won't work, but fortunately, Bean. B E A N will do the trick. Right here, I got a square full of vowels, which I don't really like. I find that squares are the hardest piece to deal with sometimes, because no matter how you rotate them, their shape will be exactly the same, and you can't fit them into any one-tile slots. Want to know my reaction to getting a square? It's coming in three, two, one. Darn, 54 points to go. Oh yeah, I'm still on track to reach my goal of 700 points, and it's so tantalizingly close now. 46 Next. points to go. A floating N is worse than a floating S. Uh-oh. 36 points to go. That's why I don't like floating pieces, but also UC San Diego represent. Excited for this S-I-N-E? Well, get ready for the blunder of the century. That probably cost me the game, but let's just see what happens. Dust. 27 points to go. 17 points to go. Bang. Oh my god, so... 683. That was going well. Okay, previous best was 545. Now I got to 683. That got faster in the end, but up until like the last 20 seconds, it was going so well. The board was well organized, and then suddenly it wasn't. Yay. Today is May 17th at 12.53 a.m. So I got 683. Just 17 points shy of my goal of 700. But in a way, that's kind of exciting because it means any of you viewers could be the first one to score 700. The link to play Scrabble Tetris is in the description. See you in the next video, bye!